Yo, what's up my friends? Action Figure Junkie back with you. Another custom action figure made out of a existing action figure. This is the, um, this is Duke. This is actually, if you can believe it or not, this was the first issue of Duke that came out, uh, what, 2020? So we're now going on just, just around four years ago. Uh, I know they did release another one that had more muted colors. And I gotta say, I felt like they copied mine because <laughs> that's what this one is. And if you look, if you know the difference, I know you're probably saying, no, Junkie, this is just the muted Duke. Nope, this was the first issue of Duke. I decided that he needed his colors badly muted. So I muted him. He's not too terribly crazy of a custom, frankly. It's just a lot of paint apps um, and, and a non-cartoonish, and I don't mean that in a good way, uh, sidearm, standard awesome 45, and a very, very cool um, badass rifle. Um, basically what I did with this guy is take the paint apps that were uh, on the shin pads, on the knee pads, on the gloves, on the wrists, oh boy, on the elbows, on the strap that goes across his shoulder, and just make them uh, not play school looking. If if you're into that, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to slam or talk smack. I'm just, I, you know, I remember when this guy came out, I was so excited that we're getting six inch Joes because I've been a Joe fan my whole life. But there was just some things about him. I thought from my personal tastes, my photography, you know, displayed on my shelf, they needed to be, uh, the colors needed to be toned down or frankly just removed. So um, um, did that. I just think that with, you know, a, a weapon such as the one he's holding, uh, don't remember where I got it. Like, I'm sure you're probably frustrated with me for never remembering where I get some of these great weapons. I've actually been collecting really cool uh, 1 12th scale weapons for years. I started collecting them years ago before G.I. Joe Classified even came out, just in the hopes that when it did, I would be able to arm up my figures. And it paid off because I just I would, would put in, I'd find these on other figures or at garage sales or, in, or or antique stores or toy fairs, and I would just be like, oh hey, how much for that cool rifle? And I would literally take them home and put them in a box for the hopes that someday I had a use for them. Paid off. Who knew? And that's what that rifle across his shoulder is. If you know where it came from, if you recognize, and in fact, I think it does have an attachment right here for a laser sighting, which I got to get. Uh, it's in a drawer. I got to put it back on just to give him the full, full effect. It falls off a lot, so I'm, I don't, I keep it in a drawer because I don't want to lose it. I put it on if I'm going to take a cool photo of him, and then I'll take it off and put it back in the drawer. So this is Duke. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but a Duke is. Uh, I know a lot of people are big, on, big on Flint. Uh, oh, I, oh, I did, I did add this. Uh, I did glue this uh, really cool pouch on. It's similar to the one that I put on my beach head. Uh, on his chest. I put that on his back just to give him another little bit of coolness. Um, so that's pretty much all he's got. Not a, This isn't a crazy custom, but I just think he looks a lot better than um, he did when I pulled him out of the box. If you guys are excited about that new Retro Duke that's coming out, let me know. I'm super excited about it. I think he looks fantastic. Um, I, I really love this Duke, and I've photographed him a million times. His face sculpt is next level to me. I know that uh, this is what this is one of the things that gave me hope initially with the GI Joe Classified line when it came out, you know, nearly four years ago, is things like that face sculpt. It just looks so good, and the hair, <laughs> the haircut, you can, it's just great. So I don't know. I, I'm excited to get that retro Duke, but I got a feeling that. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this one and, you know, we'll kind of trade off who we, who we photograph. We'll see. So that's Duke. Modern, more updated. Paint job isn't perfect. I'm not going to lie. This was one of the first classifieds I painted. I do see mistakes, but. Oh, there's a boo-boo. Look at that. Can you see that? I think that might've happened from a firework. <laughs> Don't tell Mrs. Junkie. She's like, why are you always setting fireworks off by your figures? You're going to burn them or break them. Yeah, she uh, she may have a point. Well, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. And whatever nerd thing you do, do you. And as always, how do we sign off, baby?